How you doing, Terry Divine? Today's Technique Tuesday. Today we're going to go over the mysterious, legendary one-inch punch, quarter-inch punch, not founded just by Bruce Lee, but from the Wing Chun system, or many different arts use the same philosophy. Now, some people think it's just a push. That depends on the actual user or practitioner. If you practice arts like Tai Chi with certain moves or Hungar, with your Yeltsin one KO, whether it be one finger push hand, four finger push hand, you gotta learn how to use your internal strength, your internal spirit focused into one point. When you get to a certain level, you can focus all that energy into whatever body part you wanna put it in. In this case, it'll be the fist. It's not gonna be a push. As you see with the regular punch, I can make it go to a certain point, even with a wind up, but if you concentrate hard enough, it's like learning how to make a fist all over again. The big secret is this. One, two, three, and lift with the last three knuckles. Up and in when you're doing this technique. So push would be this. But just like every art, you want to pretend the person is back there, not right in front of you. It's a ghost. It's transparent. It doesn't exist. So go through it. But you're also acting like somebody's pulling you suddenly from a belt. You got to drive from the floor, let your waist and whole body go behind it without being too apparent. So therefore you should be able to have the same effect as a full punch with the slightest one here. Not a push, a strike. You could do the same thing with a palm technique, especially if you're in security, bouncing, whatever it is, or you want to back somebody off. Psychologically, they should say, if this guy could send me flying with a flick of his hand or fist, I don't want to see what he's going to do with the full swing in a fight. So you can beat him psychologically as well as physically. So whether it be by fist or by palm. Back off. That's the secret behind it. Practice either Tai Chi or finger push hand like you're pushing the heaviest wall. Focus into one point. But we don't have time to do that in a situation. So just do it where it doesn't become a push, but an actual strike.